What's up my DoorDash gang? What's up my Grubhub gang? This is your boy Kingfish aka Big Al coming at you with another video. What it do, what it do family. Hope everybody's doing well. Today is Wednesday. The wifey coming home today guy. That's the only person that Lee's scared of. Ah uh, yes, he will not be coming out today. He's scared of the wifey guy. I ain't lying. I ain't scared of my mom, but he's scared of the wifey. I don't know why. Moms are hurt him cooking than the wifey. Yeah, guys, we got an order. We got a Starbucks, Starbucks order. All right, guys, since it's Christmas time, and this young man been bugging me all week, all month, for this right here, guys. Today, we're gonna throw back your favorite, all time, favorite, favorite Christmas gift, guys. Your favorite Christmas gift. Let's see, guys. I had so much for Christmas, man. But my favorite, I already told, we talked about this before, because I told you about my slink, slinky. But I did leave out some stuff. My all time favorite Christmas present would have to be. The green football game with the red dots. My mother bought that for me uh, for Christmas one time. And if you know what I'm talking about, it's a game that you play. The little dot is going up the, up the field. You got to make sure you get between the men and you keep scoring. It was a football game. Oh, I was a beast at that game, guys. My hand coordination back then was wonderful. Come on, get the hell out of the way. And, uh... That. See, I got caught the light. Thank you. Women, why do y'all have to sit straight up? Sit straight up and drive like, like this on the steering wheel. Gee, be Christmas. I feel bad for that young lady who ever taught her how to drive like that. She can mess around and break her chest. Gee, be Christmas. Yeah, guys, I feel a whole lot better. I took some Tylenol. I mean, not Tylenol. I took some NyQuil. I need my potassium. Yeah, I took my NyQuil, and then I took my DayQuil. And I slept good last night. I got off, I had done at three something. Got home before four. I'm up dashing there. <laughs> but yeah, guys. That football game. Look green. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a green football game and it got red dots. And your goal was to get the dots between the defenders. And to keep and once it go to the other side, it'll keep going. So you can go real fast and go through. And keep going through until you get caught. I was a beast at that game. But um that was my favorite game. Uh, I love all my, um, shoot, what it was? Um, I love all my army men. You remember the green army men? You could stand them up. Yeah, I love all my army men. And my G.I. Joe. Uh, my G.I. Joe. Stick my, you know, my GI Joe man, and I used to have a Hot Wheel race track. I love that, but my remote control car was my all-time favorite. I had a, um, I think it was a, um, the same thing, Trans Am. It was um, Smokey and the Brand Bandit, Trans Am. See, back then we had a remote control car that had a, 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 a it wasn't like now but the car go by itself and go everywhere you had a line behind it so you had to you had to you couldn't let it go too far because it was on a, a, a wire you know what i mean y'all know what i mean guys that used to be my remote control car and then i think the next year i got a remote control car and it had a little uh wire on it little it had a little wire on it with a little ball on it and it, it would go everywhere Hold on, guys. This is the white car. Let me 
called my wife. Wifey coming home, God. Somebody got me put in the hospital. And it ain't gonna be me. Yes, sir. Wifey coming home. She gonna get done. Bam the show. Hey, sorry, I don't have the other phone with me. I said, I don't have the other phone with me if you try to call me. <laughs> Oh, because I was dialing you at the same time. It went to your voicemail. So you was getting me and I was dialing you. When it went to your voicemail, I said, oh, she trying to call me. Baby, you know what the day is? The day is Wednesday. You coming home. Like, like hell, you you coming home, woman. Say what? I told him I could change my ticket. He asked me this morning. He had little tears in his eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it's been trying to go home like a week after Christmas. Give him another week. Oh, Tristan did. Break. Uh, mm -hmm. Tristan did. Yeah. Oh, uh, I hope he didn't melt you with them bedroom eyes. He's ready to cry. His mother probably put him up to it. I know, but he's just gonna get through it. So. So what are you telling me, woman? Uh, I, I guess about a week after Christmas. We got the Christmas. Well, yeah, I, do. I can tell you what the stuff is in the bags and who they for. And you might have to take the bras and stuff out so I can tell you where. Boo. All you got to do is send me a picture. All right. If Lee come out and had them bras on, it's your fault. Oh, oh you stupid. I'll cross-dress if you want. I know I won't come home. Kingfish don't cross-dress, but Lee, I, I've been having a hard time keeping him in. Tell me now, I ain't trying to tell you nothing. Trust and believe that. I'm 2% thug. And I ain't never going there. <laughs> so. Oh, God, really I'm like, I don't really got two hours. Two hours for what? It's 9 o'clock. Oh, okay. Now, don't play with me. You better bring your butt home and start playing. <laughs> Let me looking off. You should have seen my face. <laughs> You ain't gonna need them, baby. Yes, I do. It's cold and crap out here. I told you, get your fur coat, nothing underneath, bubba, and I'll see you when you get to the airport. Yeah, right. That's our coat crap for TV. <laughs> All right. Get yourself together. Come on home. All right. Love you. Love you. Bye -bye. Well, she had me there for a minute, talking about her nephew. Talking about he want her to stay. Yeah, I love nephew. The nephew don't understand. Life ain't been gone too long, guys, and I ain't playing with her. That's like putting a cake on a uh, 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 a person's favorite cake on the um stove and tell her, I'm gonna run to the store, don't you mess with it. Shoot. That cake gonna be missing some chocolate. Yep, God. I'm a man, my wife cooked some chocolate cake. She told it was for me, right? And, you know, I have I already had some milk in the refrigerator, man. I ate the whole cake, man. Oh, she was so disappointed with me, boy. She was like, the kids ain't getting no cake. I was like, kids don't need no damn cake. This cake for me. You told it, told me it was me. It's my birthday. I ain't got to share my daggone cake. You made chocolate cake, too. God, she made me chocolate cake, right? So, I had some. I, I just didn't want a plain chocolate cake. She made me a plain chocolate cake. I wanted something more. So, what I did was I took some cashews, right? See? I took some cashews, and I crumbled them all up and put them on top of the cake. I ate that whole cake, God. I ate that whole cake. 
She came in the house. She said, what the hell happened to the cake? I'm like, what you mean? She said, what happened to the cake? I asked her again, what you mean? What happened to it? She's like, I know damn well you didn't eat all that cake. I said, I know damn well you said it was my cake and I could do what I want to do with it. Man, I was punished for a week. <laughs> I was punished for a week, guys. I put my arm on. She'd be like, get your arm off me. I was like, all over a cake a whole week? And her thing was, the kids didn't get none. She made the cake. She didn't get none. I said, you licked the spoon. She wasn't trying to hit it, guys. I don't understand, guys. Women, y'all confuse me. When y'all give us something and you say it's for us, it's for us. We don't have to share it. When I give my wife, when I buy my wife a, a, a what you call it, a, a, a arrangement, edible arrangement, if she don't want to share that with me and the kids, I'm, I'm not upset. But don't make me no chocolate cake and tell me it's for me. Now I got to ask questions. Is this for me or is this for you and the kids? She says it's for everybody. All right, I take half of the cake and give them the rest of the half. I'm not eating my cake right there. You know what I mean, guys? As long as I brush and floss, I'm good. <laughs> All right, fam, I'm tired, tired of talking to you guys. I'm excited to wife at home. Y'all ain't got to worry about Lee this week. Got that right. I got him locked down. Hey, guys, I, I want y'all to know I got some um, I got some footage. I, I got hidden cameras in the house. I got hidden cameras on my truck in the morning. I got footage of that fool sneaking out and letting air out my tie. And it's a, like a two-minute clip. I'm going to share it with the family today. But, guys, I want you to know what I'm going through, guys. You know what I mean? All right, guys. I'll see you in a minute. I'm back, man. You see how the wife played, man? I wasn't getting upset. I wasn't getting upset. I've been like, the bachelor pad is open for another two weeks, guys. Ain't happening. Yeah, I found my family uh, union shirts. I'm missing a green one and a red one. Either the wife or Lee got me. Yeah, family. Yeah, man. Today is Wednesday. Your favorite throwback tour. Them green army men, my G.I. Joe, my my football game that my mama bought me. I sound like a little kid that my mama bought me. <clears throat> yep, man. <laughs> and Bakari. I want you to start hanging out with Lee, man. Let's get started. Drive safely. Turn right on East Fowler Avenue. Yeah, man. Hey, Trini. Be looking out again, Trini and Scott. I got something planned for a big homie. I'm just going to put my wifey on him, man. My wifey going to knock him out, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, my wife going to play, man. Oh, getting back to my Christmas stuff. I forgot. Um... What else I had that was great? I love my Hot Wheel, man. <laughs> I had a remote control. I mean, I had a Hot Wheel um, set where you take the you take your finger and you push it on the track, and then it go around, and then it keep going around. But it wasn't remote control. I didn't get that till later, guys. Yeah, I didn't get that till later on. The remote control. And I had a Hot Wheels set that 
you put the car in the left. yeah that's what it was turn left on north shut Street. up then turn left on east fowler avenue see this half gonna make me hurt what was your favorite christmas present a chip so you take the um at the end of the racetrack there was a pump there and you take that pump and you push it down and it shoots the car <laughs> That was my remote control, guys. Guys, if you don't know, whenever I get sick, I like to eat bananas. For some reason, I, I get addicted to start craving bananas. That's why I said I need my potassium. I think that's what it is inside of me. Some buffalo chicken wing here, lad. I don't remember buying no buffalo chicken wings. Oh, snap. Turn right on North 56th Street. Boy, I swear to God. Boy, I ain't gonna swear to God, bro. If I find out. Guys, I got buffalo chicken wings. I don't even like buffalo chicken wings. I don't know how the hell they got in my car. I got an idea. I have an ad idea. Anyway, guys. But, um. Yeah, I had some great Christmas tours. Didn't System have much. Does not recognize this command. Miles. Please rephrase your Between these two. My GPS and my side chick. I don't know who I'm gonna kick first. <sighs> but yeah, guys, I had some good Christmas toys. I didn't have much, but I had some good Christmas toys. This was when, when I was with my mom. And when I was with my pops. Baseball, the what the fat bat, you know. I had a fat red bat and a ball. That was my Christmas present, and I got some some clothes. So I can remember. Those was a happy time. Turn right on East Bush Boulevard. Those wasn't happy times, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? But when I was with my mom, I was with my mom for, so, I think I all the way out was up to eight, nine years old, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. But we're going to stay from the bad stuff, the tragic side of my we're gonna stick with the good time. So when I was with moms, man, uh, like I said, man, I got my first remote control car. It was a little car and it had a little, um, <laughs> it had a rope with it. <laughs> and then you control it, but you you, you you couldn't go far. And I had a, um, I'm trying to think of that toy. I don't know, but I know the Hot Wheel Race Track. Uh, I wish that that track wouldn't have never came apart because I think I got my butt tore up with a track one time. Oh, man. I love the games. Sorry, Monopoly, and all that we got for Christmas, too, back then. Oh. I remember my mother bought my first bike. I never had training wheel, guys. I never, I didn't learn how to ride a bike on training wheel. Uh, my I, my um, mother boyfriend slash fiance back then putting um, his nephew taught me how to ride uh, a girl bike 10 speed when I first learned how to ride a bike because it was easy for some reason I never had training wheels it was easy I, I got on the bike Fell down a couple of times. I was pissed. See, I was determined to, to not let it beat me. 
So I learned how to ride a 10 speed, the girl kind that had the bar in the middle of the V. I learned how to ride that at an early age. And, um, yep. I had a lot of Christmas over the years, guys, but as a kid, those are the ones that stood out, the ones that my mom bought. Turn right on East Bush Boulevard. Yeah, and she let me know it wasn't no damn Christmas, no Santa Claus. Santa Claus ain't taking none of my mother. Uh, it's good. It's good for the kids, guys. Some people say it's not, but it's, I guess it's good for the kids. But in a quarter of a mile, my kids always right knew Court. that we bought the gifts and we gave them the Santa Claus to bring to them. Because you know, kids, you you get to thinking that Santa Claus is everything. Turn right on Chalet Court. And we can't we can't tell you to put your Christmas toys down and this. I remember my son told me one time, Santa bought this. I ain't gotta put it away. In 900 I was like, boy, you better put it away before you be circle. really seeing Santa and all his reindeers. <laughs> You can't take my toy, Santa bought this. I'm like, Nick, what? I was like, I stood in line. I went shopping with a bunch of women to get your stuff. You don't know how that is, guys. You take women to the mall, Christmas shop. I had one gift. Can you help me with my bag? Did you have to get all that? Come on, go to the car, take this to the car. I got more. What? <laughs> when we go Christmas shopping, guys, we go get what the hell we're gonna get and we're getting the hell out of there. You feel me? Turn left on Channing Circle. Shoot, that's how we roll. Alright, guys, let me deliver this food. I'll see y'all in a minute. I gotta go get my coffee. I'm back, family. I done went to the wrong house. I got them dogs barking like crazy. They got a one, two, two, two. Upstairs and a one two 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 downstairs, but it don't say A or B. Dang it, I'm going to Hillsboro. Yep. Gee, be Christmas. I'm going to Hillsboro. Help, guys. I had five dogs barking at the door, but one of them had a very unique voice. Guys, y'all ever seen, um, what was that? Coming to America? Was it Coming to America? No. Ah. The one with Della Reese and, um, Della Reese and Eddie Murphy. When he shot off a pinky toe. I can't think of the name of it right now. But guys, y'all remember the gun scene with Arsenio Hall? And all of them had machine guns and big guns. And then that guy had that little 22 or that 32, and he kept going pat pat. That's how the dog sound. All you heard was woo 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 woo, like five or six woo woo woo. Then you heard this last, this little one. <laughs> I don't know what kind of dog it was, but they barking like they pit bulls and, and Saint Bernard. And then he come in with a. <laughs> that made me think of that movie, man, when they were shooting the gun. Well, I can't think of that movie. That's my favorite movie. When I was in your hall, was shooting that gun, and he was beating the man. Put that little damn thing away. <laughs> but Eddie Murphy, when Eddie Murphy was doing his thing back then, man, he did his thing, man. But I'm gonna tell you, in that movie, Red Fox was the funniest to me out of all of them. And Slick was bad. Whatever the hell his name was, Eddie Murphy character, but but Red Fox was the funniest man. He was man. Red Fox, rest in peace, man. That man, man, y'all, I'm telling you, Trent, uh, Bakari, man, you want some good comedy, man? I know you don't have a record player, but they got it on CD, I think. But Red Fox and Esther, man, they had some great albums back then. Richard Pryor. You know, but yeah, family. I ain't having my coffee yet, family. I'm glad that the wifey home, man. She played too many damn games, but I'm glad she coming home. You feel me? 
So when I get off the night, I might get sick for real at work tonight. <laughs> you know? So I really might get sick tomorrow, man. Yes, sir. I got to be to work early today, guys, but I'm quitting early. But yeah, guys, your favorite all-time Christmas um, gift, man. For real, man. That's for you, Scott Brillo. You worse than Lee. A big kid. Scott, you's a big kid. <laughs> Since it's Christmas time, guys. You know I'm making a video on Christmas, guys. I don't give a damn what y'all say. I'm sneaking out. I'm making a... I'm, I'm making a... Uh, I might go live on Christmas, guys. Show y'all guys what I got, man. See, me and the wifey, we don't do like 15, 20 gifts. She get what she really, 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 really want. I get what I really, 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 really want. And that's it. That's Christmas. You know what I mean? Because Christmas in my house is 320, I mean 365, guys. Christmas all year round, guys. Anniversaries all year round, guys. We don't do it just anniversaries. You know what I mean? I'm not on the schedule. <laughs> you know what I mean? Christmas every day, man. She done got Christmas, Easter, New Year's, and all that stuff. Every, throughout her, her whole year, she get all her stuff. I do too, guys. I do too. I ain't gonna lie. So we, 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 we don't just... We celebrate Christmas with one gift. No matter how much it costs, other than a car or a, a brand new house. You can't do that yet. YouTube ain't paying enough money yet, guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, not like that. But you know, it is what it is, guys. Christmas that that gift that keep right on giving, but you give um, that 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 one gift, and you know. All right, guys. Happy holidays to everybody. Just in case my wife said, "Oh hell no, you're not making a video." But I'm like, baby, if I got to go in the bathroom and make a video, I'm making a video Christmas, guys. I got to work Christmas Eve too. Yeah, we got to work Christmas Eve, guys, but we off Christmas. We got to work New Year's Eve, but we off New Year's. Normally they, normally it's off New Year's and work New, off New Year's Eve and work New Year's, but you know, I got a job. I don't give a damn what day I go to work. As long as they say come to work and I'm getting paid, guys. Let's see, see the old school, guys. Let me tell you about the old school. Old school was you was rewarded. With a check you can you got a chance to go to somebody's house and do some work meaning warehouse or whatever and then at the end of that week you get rewarded for your work that's how i look at it that's how i look at it so when i get my paycheck i know i did a good job i did some work but these kids these days man oh my god you kept us here 15 hours you got paid for 15 hours. I didn't. Mr. Ah, it don't make sense. I worked 82 hours. But didn't you get paid? You got paid too. No, I didn't get paid overtime. Okay, guys? Don't get me started. Don't get me started, man. Whoever created this, this daggone salary boy, something else, boy, they was greedy. I don't mind being a salary worker. But I like to get paid overtime. And I told you guys, when I was getting paid overtime, you couldn't get me out the building. Guys, I was watching. When the shift was over, the supervisor said, y'all go ahead, y'all have a nice day. Oh, no, not Kingfish. Oh, no. Uh-huh. I cleaned the bathrooms. I cleaned the windows. If we got done at 8 hours, I didn't leave till 12. If we got done at 12 hours, I didn't leave till 15. It got to the point, guys, that was the only write-up I ever got, guys, was uh, <laughs> failure to follow direction and, uh, you know, stand in the company, you know, stand on the clock. But they could never say I wasn't working, so they couldn't say I was still in time. I made sure I was on the camera. I dusted the table. I remember one time my boss came in the bathroom and said, what the hell are you doing still here? I like, I like using a clean bathroom, so I, I volunteered to clean it. I'm on the clock. <laughs> I'm on a camera. We had a bad we had a camera going into the bathroom, right? 
But I, I went in there with my cleaning stuff. I had that bathroom smelling good. I did it women's too. I popped the door open. I cleaned the women's bathroom. Y'all some disgusting women. Women, y'all some... When y'all want to be disgusting, not all women, but you got some non-ladylike, you know. I cleaned the woman's bathroom. Man, when that trash can, boy, I thought a baby, a dead baby was in there, man. I ain't even going to talk about that. That's a different thing, guys. But look, guys, my time is running now. I'm going to go get this Denny's order. But, uh, yeah, guys, when I was working on the clock, man, and once I seen how much, when you told me that I was getting, I was making $18 an hour. This was in 80, 87, 88. That was good money back then, guys. Trust me. I was making $18. And they told me if I work overtime, that they're going to give me half of $18. That's $9. I, was, I did the math. I said, oh, hell, they ain't going to never get me out of here. Mm -mm. I'm getting overtime, guys. If the grass was too uh, high out front of the warehouse, man, I was trying to find a lawnmower and cut it. <laughs> the owners loved me. The supervisor and the manager hated me, guys. I was bringing home close to I guarantee you, I was bringing home. We was getting paid a week. I was bringing home a little over $1,000 a week, guys. Shoot. Most of that was overtime. The HR department came and got me one time. They was like, Alan, we understand what you doing, but you can't do that unless you have permission. I said, okay, do y'all like uh, working in a dirty place? They said, no. I said, that's my, you know, me neither. Can't do it. <laughs> they was like, well, if you keep doing it, we're going to have to let you go. Do you understand? I said, let me go where? It was like, let you go. You're going to get terminated for stealing a couple of time. I said, look, you got to identify, you got to look at the de definition of stealing company time. Stealing company time means that you're on company time, but you're not doing anything. I'm on company time and I'm working. So, ma'am, that is not stealing company time. Guys, they thought I was retarded. They just, it, they gave, they, it got to the point where they said, just let them work. <laughs> just let them work. I was there for 12 years, guys. They just let me work. They just let me do what I want to do. And I kept that place clean, man. I kept that place clean. All right, guys. I got to go get this order. I'll be right back. What's up, family? Y'all thought I wasn't coming out? Man, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you my favorite Christmas present. My favorite Christmas present was a butcher knife, an AK-47, a nick a nick a nine, and a nickel plated chrome, whatever you want to call it. Two five, that means a twenty five bit in your hand, and Trinity DC, aka Trinity Baltimore, Scott Billow Pad. Let me tell y'all something. I didn't have a Christmas, but if I did have a Christmas, my favorite tour would be Chucky and the the Bride of Chucky. That's my Christmas present, family. But I want y'all to know something, family. Kingfish wife is my side chick. <laughs> so I'm not scared of her. You know. One thing I do. Being an ex-former pimp. I respect my women. So if Kingfish wife say. I want Lee. She get Lee. You feel me? All of Lee. So I want y'all guys to know. Kingfish gonna have problems when his wife come home. Cause one minute she gonna be with him. And the next minute, she's going to be with me. All right, guys, I hear him. i see you later. Hey, guys, if I don't see y'all Christmas, y'all have a great Christmas. But if I do see you Christmas, I'm going to ruin it. Peace. I'm back, family. It got hot out here real quick. It seemed like when the sun came out, it brought a lot of heat with it. All right, family, look, check it out. Who moved my keys? Can't find. Oh. That ain't my keys. Time I come to the car, something different. All right, family. Um, make sure you let me know your favorite all time Christmas tour all-time Christmas game, all-time Christmas everything. 
But the wifey will be home, guys. There will be no Lee. It's just gonna be me and wifey. Oh snap, that rhyme. <laughs> so guys, we're gonna deliver. I came all the way out here for a grand slam. Well, I'm not gonna dash long today. Matter of fact, this might be my last one. I gotta finish cleaning up. I gotta be to work at two o'clock, so I, I wanna get some rest. Uh, it might be a heavy night tonight. I'm not for sure. Is it Nebraska Avenue I'm going to? Hold on. Yep, Nebraska Avenue. So it, it might be a long night tonight. I'm not for We're sure. All set. Let's go. Turn right. Then turn right. But if they tell me it's a long night, bro man gets sick. I can I can promise you that. Wifey don't get home till six something. I might leave early. Turn right. In 500 feet, turn left on North 59th Street. Turn left on North 59th Street. Yeah, I can promise you that. down here why are you gonna take me down here i just make a u-turn tv christmas man man let me cut this half a down she gonna make me lose my mind she gonna take me through a neighborhood to make a u-turn and all i gotta do is make a u-turn oh family i got to go i'm sorry i ain't know i ran that much time Alright guys, this is your boy Kingfish, aka Big Al. I'm out guys. If you're dashing, keep dashing. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not dashing, you're not grubbing. You better get yourself some dashing grub, man. Alright family, I will see y'all tomorrow. You know what tomorrow is. I don't give a damn Thursday. No, I'm sorry. Hell no Thursday. See guys, I told you I haven't been myself. Alright guys, peace.